Hello and welcome to the 215th episode of Scripture in a Year, hosted by Saints Peter and Paul Orthodox Church in the Albanian Archdiocese of the OCA. Today's reading is from the book of Hosea, chapters 1 through 5. The word of the Lord that came to Hosea, the son of Beeri, in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, son of Joash, king of Israel. The beginning of the word of the Lord to Hosea. The Lord said to Hosea, Go, take to yourself a wife of fornication and children of fornication, for the land will surely go a-whoring by departing from the Lord. So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of Deblaim, and she conceived and bore him a son. Again the Lord said to him, Call his name Jezreel, for in a little while I will avenge the blood of Jezreel on the house of Jehu, and I will make to cease the kingship of the house of Israel. It shall be in that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. Then she conceived again and bore a daughter. So God said to him, Call her name Lo-Ruhamah, for I will no longer have mercy on the house of Israel, but will surely set myself in array against them. But I will have mercy on the house of Judah, and will save them by the Lord their God. I will not save them with bow, nor with sword, nor by war, nor by chariots, nor by horses or horsemen. Now after she weaned lo Ruhama, she conceived again and bore a son. So the Lord said, Call his name lo Amai, for you are not my people, and I am not your God. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which shall not be measured or numbered. Then it shall come to pass, in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people. Even then they shall be called the sons of the living God, the children of Judah, and the children of Israel shall be gathered together. They shall appoint themselves one head, and come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Say to your brother, My people, and to your sister, Pitied. Plead with your mother, plead, for she is not my wife, and I am not her husband. I will remove her fornication out of my presence, and her adultery from between her breasts, that I may strip her naked, and make her again as she was at the day of her birth. I will make her desolate, and as dry land, and I will kill her with thirst. I will not have mercy upon her children, for they are children of fornication. For their mother went a whoring. She that bore them disgraced herself, for she said, I will go after my lovers who give me my bread and my water, and my garments and my linen clothes, my oil and my necessities. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up her way with thorns. I will stop the ways, so she shall not find her path. She will follow after her lovers, but not overtake them. She will seek them, but not find them. She will say, I will go and return to my former husband, for it was better for me than now. For she did not know I gave her corn, wine, and oil, and multiplied silver to her. But she turned the silver and gold over to Baal. Therefore, I will take back my corn in its season, and my wine in its time. I will remove my raiment and my linen clothes, that she may not cover her nakedness. Now I will expose her uncleanness before her lovers, and no one shall by any means deliver her out of my hand. I will take away all her gladness, her feasts and her festivals at the new moons, and her sabbaths, and all her solemn assemblies. I will destroy her vines and her fig trees, all the things of which she said, These are my wages that my lovers have given me. But I will make them a testimony, and the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the sky, and the reptiles of the earth shall devour them. I will repay her for the days of Baalim, where she sacrificed to them, and put on her earrings and her necklaces, and went after her lovers. But she forgot me, says the Lord. Therefore, behold, I will lead her astray and make her desolate, and I will speak to her heart, and I will give her possessions from there, and the valley of Achor to open her understanding. She will be humbled there according to the days of her infancy, and according to the days of her coming up out of the land of Egypt. Then it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord, that she will call me my husband, and shall no longer call me Baalim. For I will take away the names of Baalim out of her mouth, and their names shall be remembered no more. In that day I will make a covenant for them, with the wild beasts of the field, and with the birds of the sky, and with the reptiles of the earth. I will break the bow, the sword, and the battle from off the earth, and will cause them to dwell safely. I will betroth you to myself forever. Yes, I will betroth you to myself in righteousness and justice, and in mercy and compassions. I will betroth you to myself in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. It shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord, that I will listen to heaven, and it shall listen to the earth, 
and the earth shall listen to the corn and the wine and the oil, and they shall listen to Jezreel. I will sow her to myself on the earth, and will love her that was not loved, and will say to that which was not my people, You are my people, and they shall say, You are the Lord my God. And the Lord said to me, Go yet again and love a woman that loves evil things, an adulteress, even as the Lord loves the children of Israel, for they look after strange gods and love raisin cakes. So I bought her for myself for fifteen pieces of silver, a homer of barley, and a jar of wine. I said to her, You shall stay with me for many days. You shall not commit fornication, neither shall you be for another man, but I will be for you. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, without a prince, without a sacrifice, without an altar, without a priesthood, and without symbols of revelation. Afterward the children of Israel shall return and seek the Lord their God and David their king, and they shall be amazed at the Lord and at his good things in the latter days. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the Lord has a judgment for the inhabitants of the land. There is no truth or mercy or knowledge of God in the land. Cursing and lying, murder and theft and adultery gushed forth in the land, and blood is mingled with blood. Therefore the land shall mourn and be diminished with all the things that dwell in it, the wild beasts of the field, the reptiles of the earth, and the birds of the sky, and the fish of the sea shall come to an end, that neither may any one judge nor analyze another, but my people are as a priest who is spoken against. Thus you shall be weak by day, and the prophet shall be weak with you. I have compared your mother to the night. My people are like as those who have no knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you from being a priest to me. And because you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children according to their multitude. So they sinned against me. I will turn their glory into dishonor. They will eat the sins of my people and take away their lives because of their wrongdoings. The priest shall also be as the people. So I will punish him for his ways and repay him for his counsels. They shall eat and not be satisfied. They have gone a-whoring and shall by no means prosper because they have abandoned holding fast to the Lord. The heart of my people has gladly engaged in fornication, wine, and strong drink. They asked counsel by means of signs, and they reported answers to them by their staves. They have gone astray in a spirit of whoredom, and grievously gone a-whoring from their God. They have sacrificed on the tops of the mountains, and on the hills they have sacrificed under the oak and poplar, and under the shady tree, because their shade was good. Therefore your daughters shall go a-whoring, and your daughters-in-law shall commit adultery. But I will not show care for your daughters when they commit fornication, nor your daughters-in-law when they commit adultery. For they mingled themselves with harlots and sacrificed with the initiated ones, and the people who understood entangled themselves with a harlot. But you, O Israel, be not ignorant, and do not go, men of Judah, to Gilgal, and do not go up to Beth-Avon, nor swear by the living God, for Israel was maddened like a mad heifer, now the Lord will feed them like a lamb in a wide place. Ephraim joined with idols. He has laid stumbling blocks in his own way. He has chosen the Canaanites. They have grievously gone a-whoring. They have loved dishonor through her rudeness. They are a blast of wind in her wings, and they shall be ashamed because of their altars. Hear these things, O priests, and attend, O house of Israel. Listen, O house of the king, for judgment is with you, because you have been a snare in Mizpah and a net spread on Tabor, which they that hunt the prey have fixed. But I will be your instructor. I know Ephraim and Israel is not far from me. For now Ephraim has gone grievously a-whoring. Israel is defiled. Their deliberations did not allow them to return to their God, for a spirit of fornication is in them, and they have not gotten to know the Lord. The arrogance of Israel shall be brought low before his face, and Israel and Ephraim shall become weak due to their wrongdoings and Judah also shall become weak with them. They shall go with sheep and calves diligently to seek the Lord, but they shall not find him, for he has withdrawn himself from them. For they have forsaken the Lord, because strange children have been born to them. Now the rust shall devour them along with their heritages. Blow the trumpet on the hills, sound aloud on the heights, proclaim in Beth-Avon, Benjamin is confused, Ephraim has vanished in the days of reproof. Among the tribes of Israel have I shown faithful things. The princes of Judah became those who removed the boundaries. I will pour out my fury upon them as water. Ephraim oppressed his adversary. He trod over judgment, for he began to go after vanities. 
Therefore I will be as a confusion to Ephraim and as a sting to the house of Judah. Ephraim saw his disease and Judah his pain. Then Ephraim went to the Assyrians and sent ambassadors to King Jereb. But he could not heal you, and your pain shall in no way cease from you. Wherefore I am as a panther to Ephraim and as a lion to the house of Judah. So I will grasp and go away, and I will take, and there shall be none to rescue. I will go and return to my place until they are destroyed, and then they shall seek my face in their affliction. They will seek me early, saying. Here ends the reading for today.